How's it going on YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the LG G2. This is the AT&T variant but this process will work on all variants. At least that's what it says on the form on XDA. Let's put it that way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get Lollipop on this device. We're going to install CM12. Sijamod 12. So to do that there are some prerequisites. Let me go over some of those so you guys are all on the same page here with me. Um, just so you can see what I'm working with, I always like to show you guys this information. This is probably the most important information you have on your device right here. So right now you can see we are on basically stock Android 4.4.2. Build number right there is that D820C. So that's what we're on, latest official OTA update basically. Okay, That's what I'm on right here. Now, you are going to have to have root access and you're going to have to have custom recovery installed. Um, I have uh, Torp recovery installed. The reason you need to have root access though is because you can't have recovery without root access. So it's kind of a package deal at least on this device. So besides that you're gonna have to have some files uh, downloaded to your device. Let me go ahead and find my file manager. We'll go all files, internal, downloads. I downloaded this right here. This is what you're gonna need and basically you're going to need three different files. One of them is the latest Torp recovery and it is a bumped version instead of using Loki it's bumped so we're going to install that. It's a zip you install in recovery. So you're going to need to have standard recovery installed and you just flash this and it updates your recovery for you. So once you have these three files on your device this is the ROM, this is the Google applications and this is your recovery you're going to go ahead and reboot your system into recovery. Now to do that, I like to use this application. There's some button combination you can do to do it also, but I like using this. So I'm going to use Quick Boot and you just reboot to recovery. It does ask for a root permission if um, you know to use that application. Again, another reason for root access. And boom, it reboots you right into recovery. So from here, it's going to be very simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to update to the newest recovery. So to do that, we're going to come right here and pick this and just swipe across to flash it. This is going to go ahead and update the device. And then we're going to go back, back, reboot, recovery, and just show that your recovery is now updated to the new bumped recovery, which it should be very simply here. Let's go ahead and make sure this thing does function. And there you go. Now you can see that the recovery version right here is version 2.8.2.1. Shabam. Other thing you might want to note up here is your battery life. It's a good thing to be over 50% battery before you flash anything in case you have any issues. From here we're going to make this really simple. We're going to go ahead and go into backups. We're going to back up everything right there. And then we're going to come up to the name. And we're just going to label this one stock. There you go. So now I know it's stock. I'm going to actually also add root because I know this is a rooted stock build. Go ahead and hit uh, go. And you should be good to go. It's going to put it on the internal. You can check other things if you want. But that should be good enough for me. And swipe across to start your backup. We're going to let this backup run. We'll come right back to it as soon as it is done. Alright, so that recovery has completed. And now we can go ahead and flash the ROM. So first things we're going to do is go in here to wipes. We're going to go to advanced and we're going to pick Delvic system data cache. Do not hit internal. That would be bad. We would lose out <laughs> and we would not have our ROM to flash after we did that. So definitely do not hit that one. And then right here or change file system. I'm not going to change file system. We're going to go ahead and swipe across to flash or to wipe I should say. And this is going to go ahead and wipe everything out. And we're going to go back. Back again, back again. Go to install. There, we're already in the file. Select Sidemod 12 or CM12. Add a zip. Select the Google applications. And swipe across to flash. This is going to go ahead and install Sidemod 12. Or should I say Lollipop on your device. Let's let this thing run. This should not take very long. It's not very big files. The ROM is already flashed and the Google applications are almost done as well. You can see right there Google applications Android 5.0. So ROM flash is completed. Go ahead and just hit reboot system now. 
and we should see our initial boot up here. There's the LG logo, and we should see our side Jamad boot animation. Uh, give this thing a good five minutes to boot up first time. It may take that long. It's hard to say. Uh, whenever you boot a new ROM, normally it's going to take a little while. So let's just let this thing boot right here, and I'll show it to you once I go through a little bit of setup, and we'll have officially have CM12 Lollipop on our LG G2. Wow, that is one beautiful looking thing right there. So it does have the initial setup for Lollipop, which is really cool. And you can skip right through this. Skip anyway for right now. And get through all your initial setup. Pretty sure this probably has the NFC feature too, which is really cool. If you haven't seen that video, check that out on how to um, update your devices or set up your devices with NFC. It's really amazing. So here you go. This is Saijin Mod. Um, you know what, let me see if I can, ooh, look at that, man. Getting a little brighter for you guys. Um, very, very cool, very, very cool. Oh, ooh, the smoothness of that transition was just so beautiful. Hot spots and everything. Oh, man, this thing looks really, really, really nice. Definitely liking it. Oh, yeah, very cool. Let's go ahead and just go into settings really quickly so you guys can see this. About, there it is, Android 5.0.1. Booyah! And if you want to check out the Easter egg, Lollipop! Ooh, lolly, lollipop. But now you got to check out the game because the game is probably the coolest part. Oh, Flappy Droid. Oh, I died because it's really, really extremely hard. But there you go. If you're looking for uh, Lollipop on your LG G2, this is going to be the way to do it. Along with this, obviously, you have all the fun customizations. Uh, at that size and mod has in it so that's going to be really fun to play with and get used to um, and tweak and mod and theme and all that kind of good stuff on your device there you go that's going to kind of wrap it up here for me on cm12 on your lg g2 if you want to see full coverage on size and mod or lollipop check out my other videos on this device and on a lot of the other devices I cover. Also, quick note about root and recovery. I also have videos on that. Again, check the playlist or go to rootjunkie.com and you'll see everything you need to know there. That's going to be it for me today, guys. Hope you guys liked the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.